What's going on everyone? ODC, it's me here, and I'm back with another action figure review. This is my review of a very nostalgic line uh, from when I was a, a kid. Uh, it's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Retro Classic Collection. Um, these were the figures that were released in 1988. Um, these were the figures that I had from in 1988 when I was a kid. And, uh, wow, this does bring back a lot of memories. I, I picked up Raph because he was the only one available. I believe it was uh, Raph, Krang, and a foot soldier um, from the retro line. I'm trying to think of who else. There was also a couple others like that came out in the later lines. Like I think in, like, 93, there was, like, Sergeant or Sergeant Donatello or stuff like that where they started going through some of the different... Uh, variations of each of the turtles but i just wanted the retros i wanted i want to get this entire um line right here um as far as the later figures i'll probably pass on those but uh, the originals like i i just picked up donatello online because i couldn't find him in any store uh, i'd like to get at least the four turtles and maybe splinter and shredder um but uh, Krang's pretty easy to get. You can get them for around 10 bucks, even if you shop online, if you're an online shopper. Um, I haven't seen Bebop and Rocksteady anywhere, and uh, the Foot Soldier, um, neither. So, yeah. But uh, this is pretty cool. Long story short, um, when I was a kid, 1988, um, I had no idea who the turtles were, to be honest with you. I think I no, you know what? I lied. I think I heard about the turtles in nine, in in eighty around eighty seven because I had a lot of friends I went to school with and we would all chat about comics and stuff like that. Um, long story short, I'm not gonna make this a long story because I know you guys want to get to the figure and you're probably like shut up at this point. Anyway, um, when I was a kid, nineteen eighty eight, my mom came home from Japan and brought me four turtles home brand new in package and was like oh look these are teenage mutant ninja turtles i brought them home from you for my trip and i was like teenage mutant ninja turtles i don't really know who the hell why what am i gonna do with a turtle i mean i got i have batman and i have superman and i have all my star wars figures upstairs and all my you know super friends figures upstairs what am i gonna do with a turtle and then i remember just reading the back because my mom also brought home four VHS tapes, I believe it was at the time, and um, they had, uh, what was it, I, I remember watching Heroes, before I watched Heroes in the Half Shell, there were these four VHS tapes, that each tape had four stories on it, and um, it's pretty cool. Uh, I remember just reading this little piece of the card and just falling in love with it, just after reading this. And I'm like, okay, this is great. So if you, I'll, I'll pause this, and this way you guys can read it. If you want to read the original story from the back of the card. And then I remem remember later on getting uh, the comics in uh, the 90s, uh, from the 80s. So... Um, this is very nostalgic for me. I know you guys don't want to hear me just sit here and just talking about the figure while it's still in packaging, but um, there's you know there's a story behind every action figure. You know what I mean? Every action figure I've picked up throughout my entire collection. I have a lot of figures. Um, I have there's a story behind. So, and I'm sure that's the same with everyone out there as far as collectors go. So let's not waste any more time. We'll get Raphael out of packaging and we'll be right back. Wow, man, this is, wow, it's just, this is just so cool. I'm, I'm just, <laughs> uh, I, man, this just uh, really brings back memories from being a, a kid. It's, uh, it's, it's absolutely fantastic <laughs> as I'm snipping all the uh, pieces off here. Um, he comes with a lot of different accessories, as you can see here. I just clipped off one of his side and... Uh, let me just clip off this other one and see how good I can get it. There we go. Okay. Um, and this, wow, the, Raph, um, like I said, he's probably my second favorite of the Ninja Turtles. Um, it goes Donnie, Raph, Leo, and then Michelangelo. Uh, but uh, this is just, this is just so cool. <laughs> my God, this brings back so many memories. Um, 
and he actually has one more he has one more pocket on his back here and I'm trying to just clip some of these off here but um, how cool is this that it came with all of these different little accessories and nowadays nowadays we barely get any accessories <laughs> but a retro uh, figure from the 80s has more accessories than a modern day figure now so <laughs> Oh boy, how things have changed. Uh, but this um, extra bladed weapon just kind of fits right in the back there. And his two sides fit in the front where they belong. Um, they also fit right in his hand. No issues there. And man, let me just tell you while I'm doing this, how many of how many Ninja Turtles I had when I was a kid. Oh my god, you would have thought I was the biggest spoiled brat in the world. Um, I had the 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 suit, the, their layer um, with the, I believe it was like a trapeze part where you would have two telephone pole, two telephone poles and then you would have, you would put the swing on top of the telephone pole and then if you wanted to you could set up like shredder over here and I'm, this isn't in scale obviously, you could set up shredder on the um, left hand side and then you would attach one of the Ninja Turtles hands to the trapeze and then you would turn the telephone pole to the right and it would swing and knock shredder or whoever Bebop Rocksteady, a foot soldier, into a vat, uh, into like a, I believe a tube, which would go into some ooze, which is just so cool. <laughs> um, man, there's, there is nothing like, uh, I mean, as, as many, as many cool things as there are now for kids and for collectors, some of the retro stuff, there's just nothing like it. You, you can't beat it. Uh, I'm just clipping off some more. He's got some throwing stars here. I just like to chat while I'm doing this because it's just a, it's a big kick. I get a big kick out of uh, talking about um, figures from the past, man. That's It's just so much fun. Um, sorry if I'm taking so long here, but uh, I can't help myself. It's just uh, something I wanted to do while I'm clipping these off. Just talk a little bit about, you know, when you're a kid. Uh, I also remember having the, I think I still have it actually, is the, oh, what were they called? I can't remember. The uh, the kids from D Dimension X with the flying car. It was like a flying 50s car and the wheel, the wheels would, uh, you, you could set them up uh, where it was like, it looked like a regular car and then the wheels would like turn inside and then you could use it as a floating car. I can't remember it. I think it fit like four figures. But anyway, I digress. Enough of that. Um, the uh, It does come with a, a brochure, a little pamphlet of a bunch of different figures you can get from different lines and stuff like that. I'm not going to get into all this too much. I'm just going to show you it really quick. There's like a checklist, which is pretty cool, you know. I feel like more, com more and more companies should uh, have a checklist like this because I remember some checklists being on the back of like the cards that you would get. Um, but uh, it's pretty cool that it comes with that. So he comes with um, this bladed weapon. I'm not sure what the name is for it. I'm sure someone out there knows. Um, and then he comes with another bladed weapon. You can all pop these right in their hands. Uh, the throwing stars might be a little bit more of a hassle trying to get uh, the throwing stars in there, in their hands. But uh, really, I mean, you're, you're not going to have this guy displayed without his sigh. You know what I mean? Um, that's pretty much what you want. Uh, and he's got this extra bladed weapon that uh, fits right on the back, which I don't think I've ever seen him use in the cartoon that I can remember. But he is a different shade of green, which is really cool. He's like the lightest shade green, almost like a Kelly green, uh, which looks really cool. Um, they all have different shades. I believe Donatello was the darkest. Of the turtles? Oh no, he was. Uh, no, wait. I take that back. He was like a brown, a brown, brownish green color. Um, Michelangelo. I think Donat. Actually, Leonardo might have been the darkest of the greens, and then I think it went uh, Mikey, Donnie, and then Raph might have been the lightest. I don't know. If I'm incorrect, then I'm incorrect. But I'm just looking from the back of the card, and that's what it looked like to me. But. Uh, 
These are so cool. And this is literally exactly what you got, you would have got in the 80s. Um, it's uh, pretty much, I think it's five points of articulation here. Uh, one being the head that just swivels in a full 360 rotation. The arms that swivel. Oh no, I take that back. The um, forearm swivels. I forgot about that. And then uh, no waist swivel or anything like that. But the legs do swivel as well. And they're kind of on a, like a ball peg joint. But you can move the legs in and out. They can kind of do splits. Uh, the legs go forward kind of in a wide jointed hip style where they kind of curve. Uh, but the legs are in a pre-posed position. And I remember that being the big issue with Donatello was that I could never get him to stand because his leg was like kind of hunched back and like the, the toes were bent like that, uh, bent on the ground. So um, he was, I think, one of the toughest ones to, to get to balance. But um, as far as the others, they all had flat feet, I think. Uh, Michelangelo might have a bent foot. Oh no, Leonardo did too. I'm sorry, I apologize. I think Raph and Mikey had flat feet, and then Leo and Donnie had uh, a bent foot. So, but uh, this is really cool. Like I said, this brings back a lot of memories from when I was a kid. I'm way off camera, sorry. Uh, but this is so cool that um, Playmates and uh, they decided to give us this. I kind of like to have him like he's picking his teeth. <laughs> Looks pretty funny, uh, but I would totally like to pick up the rest of this line. It would be great um, it, it just looks so cool and I love the little accessories the original accessories that he came with um, I mean this should, Like I said, I'm just reminiscing here um, The belt is also removable. You can just kind of pop it off here at the uh, And you can pop it back on if you want so if you want to have them nude <laughs> Then you can, but uh, this is this is just so cool. I love it. But uh, yeah, there's not really much else to to talk about here. Um, as far as his size comparison, if you're not familiar with how the retro figures were, um, let me just see where is my other Donatello figure. I can't find them. Um, yeah, just bring it up, Stormtrooper, really quick. There's a stormtrooper. As you can see, he's a he's much he's much shorter than a stormtrooper. And uh, bringing a three and three quarter inch figure, we'll bring in uh, Captain Rex here. So there you go. They're pretty much three and three quarter inch. Just a different style of three and three quarter inch. They're wider. So there you go with that. There's your size comparisons. Um, yeah, uh, would I recommend these figures? Of course, especially if you grew up with them. Um, these are fantastic. Uh, <laughs> even though they're very limited, it's it's nostalgia, man. You can't put a price on, on, on feeling like a kid again. Uh, so with that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Sorry for such a long review, but I couldn't help myself. This was a special one for me. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the flip side.